um, teleport down to the bottom so I don't have to worry about it. Which is good. My gold! I thought you was gone for good. Time to get down to some serious hoarding. Oh, oh. look at that. Those mine cars meant the world to that old guy. Maybe a reward is in order. Hmm? Yep. Boom. Boom. And goodbye. Oh hell, my gold! Come back, gold! The miner wasn't such a bad guy. He was down here a long time, and that'll take its toll. Obtaining the thing you desire most isn't always as hard as it's made out to be, but it will change you. And that, my friends, is what's hard. <laughs> okay, upcoming now is the puzzle area for the children. And again, it's another dark story. <laughs> All of the stories I feel are dark. Caution is in order, for we are about to enter a very grim part of our journey this evening. Grim not because of the atrocity we are about to witness, but because of who is going to commit it. I speak of those darling children, the twins. Watch, but don't be afraid to avert your eyes, especially if you yourself are a parent and you enjoy making soup. <laughs> I don't need the show anymore. Oh yeah. Their specialty is to make copies of themselves. We go. You don't want to know the building permit hell I went through to build that thing down here. It does have walk-in closets. It's those small touches that make the difference when it comes time to put it on the market. These children are creepy looking, by the way. Let's go this way and talk quiet down you don't want to disturb the dear twins sounds like the nice little doggy of yours is famished would you two be dears and go fetch him his dog food sure not up there only problem with that is the dog food is right there but the door is locked and I can't get it right now. So that is the puzzle. And we can't go outside because daddy won't let us. Terribly sorry, loves. I can't let you go out and play with your friends until you've had your supper. Your mom's making your favorite. <laughs> Sausage and tater soup. Mm -mm. If you stay inside without a fuss, I'll buy you each another pony. Perhaps instead of a pony, I can buy you one of those new motor carriages. They don't startle as easily, or die in unexplained barn fires. Wow. You know I'd let you go out and play. But your mom is almost ready with our supper. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, I think that's the last thing he says. If I remember correctly. Or he just keeps saying that over and over again when she gets done talking. And here is the, uh, wait, no, the key is up there, actually, skeleton key. A beautiful house in the cultural heart of Victorian London. Two loving and caring parents. What could children want more? Apparently what they desire most is freedom. Freedom from bedtimes and chores. Freedom to run wild with no one to hold them back. We're about to see what happens when two adorable children snap. <laughs> All of the stories in this game are dark and... Like, they're... they're I don't know, it's just... It's just... it's interesting. 
to me anyway. We need to grab our... We have the umbrella and we need the umbrella to open the attic. Just like that. Now we need to grab the hammer. Bad children. Use the hammer to bang this down. Now we don't need the hammer anymore. That's all we needed the hammer to do. Was to bang that down. And now we just push the box. Uh. Ouch! There goes the fine china. Grab the fuse box from... Or grab the fuse from the fuse box. Continue pushing this. It should slide down on its own. Ooh, there goes the broken china. Mm -hmm. Put that fuse in there, which will turn on the elevator. Which is what we need to bring the box upstairs. Yes, we need to push the box downstairs in order to bring it upstairs. Mm -hmm. It's a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing it. Okay. Let's write it down. Very cool. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Now what we need to do is push the box in the kitchen, basically. Are you kids building a fort? Oh, that's so cute. Put it right uh pull it right there. Then pull this lever. And we want the uh, we want it to go to. What was that crash I heard upstairs? Hmm. We want it to go to level three, so we need to pull it one more time. Please stop barking. You know what happened to the there last dog that barked too much. Would you two be dears and do fetch him his dog food? I'm trying. I have to jump through a lot of hoops to be able to do it. Uh. Okay. Now the box is right here. Very cool. Which now we can go to the roof. But there's one thing we need to do before we go to the roof. Which this took me a long time to figure out. Um, but I finally figured out. And it's actually pretty simple if you think about it. So basically, you use their little ability, and you stand on these. And you go up the ladder, or not the ladder, but the elevator, and grab this pot. And then, what you do, is you go back down to the kitchen, and up this ladder to the bathroom and you fill this with water okay now what you want to do or now you can actually go to the roof because basically what you need the water for is, I will show you in one second once I get up there. You need to pour the water down the chimney to put up fire. Because you can climb down the chimney with smoke going up, but you will die. 
So, to avoid dying, you put out the fire. You need this water to do it. And climb up these, uh, I don't know what these are. Mmm, the smell of rotting sewage floating in the Thames. Thick industrial smoke choking the air, and horse manure piled high on every street corner. Ah, <sighs> it must be springtime in London. Hmm. Let's pour that down there. That will stop the smoke, and we can go down now. I'd make a Mary Poppins joke right now, except that it's not in the public domain. And I don't want to get sued. Again. And now we have the key. Now we can go wherever well, we want. Well, the twins have the run of the house now. <laughs> what kind of mischief will they get into next? And here's where the story gets a little more dark. Or after I give the dog his food story will get a little bit more dark than you thought it could get. Lovely music. So, we go back down to the basement and what do we find? We have now reached the Ow. grimmest part of our grim story. Exactly. For that small box shoved into the corner is the ticket out of this house for the twins. Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> if you dare. Rat poison, okay. It's a little dark. That's really dark, actually. But what we have to do now is grab a bone. We don't really have to do that until later, but it's good to grab a bone right now, just so you don't have to do it before. Or just so you don't have to do it later. And we had to give the dog his food, because the dog was right here, blocking uh, your way. So now you can go down here and basically turn off the steam. You can go back to the kids and rat poison. grab the rat <laughs> you poison. You know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read, One small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. And obviously you can't add it to the soup while your mom is oh, watching. So what you do is you take that bone that we found. And we basically make the dog bark and make the mom turn around. You're barking. You know how much the twins hate that. We can also barking. we can also pause. Aw, I got rid Soup of that. Is ready and it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long, or we might start without you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love I love uh, eating soup where the smoke is uh, skull and crossbones. I love that kind of soup. It's very good. Doing as they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. Yeah, I doubt that. <sighs> you see, this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. But they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. And as with the rest of our travelers and...